Yes. 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 Who got who got fresh revelation this morning? Yes. Oh, everybody. Come on. Um, any any one person has something short? God's book on them. They want to do a shout out. Is it Andy? Yeah. You have the revelation God gave you this morning? Oh. Uh, I put you on the spot. There there's a lot. I took a lot of notes. Uh, I think. Uh, I'm coming back this afternoon with expectation. Come on. I, I, love, I love the build today, but just that, that whole identity. Uh, I love what he said even about conflict between behavior and belief and uh, just walking into freedom from that. Awesome. I love what you carry a gun. There's something so bright. You just reflect Jesus through your eyes, and what you carry is beautiful. I love it. You have something? I'll let go of Come on. That sounds so easy. It's so hard. <laughs> until, until you realize it's easy. <laughs> and then you got it. You're walking away with it. Right. So it was just brief, but Ravi said that God's joy is our comfort. Meaning, like, not that we sit in our comfort zone that makes God happy, but that in my joy of God, that is my comfort wherever I'm walking that's uncomfortable. Come on. That's a good one. I love it. Good work. You can, you can take that one home. I will. <laughs> Anyone else? How about this side of the over here? Is it, remind me your name? Pia. Pia. I love Pia's joy. She has this passion for Jesus. What, what did God speak to you this morning? Um, I never looked at healing as being our destiny. Mm. Everyone has a different destiny. They can't really walk it out or fulfill that ultimate calling over their life unless they go through their own truth and inner healing. So I never envisioned it that way and seen it that way, but I just feel like the more I get healed, I get to live out of dusty and help others have that too. So it's just really powerful. Did some joy land on you with that yes. one? That's huge. Yeah. You had a healing minister at the future of Alicia. It is. <laughs> Big time. All right, one, we have had one more. How about you, Daniel? Oh boy. Okay. Um, well, uh, I learned to think in a different light, um, of just to view the world in a different light. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Very good. All right, we got more. Uh -huh. We just had lunch, so our stomach is full, but our spirits are saying, all right, it's how more. Yeah. All right, well, let's just, I'm just going to invite Jesus' spirit yeah. here. Jesus, we just thank you that you're so good. I just thank you that each one in this room came because they were hungry. And I thank you that you have been speaking. You're releasing your word. Um, you've been you've been shaping identities. Father, I thank you that there's things that have been let go of so that the things of you can be fully embraced. And we just ask that you would complete that work. You're such a faithful, faithful father. And we just say, you have permission, Jesus. Each one of us in our own hearts, we, we give you permission right now. We let our walls down and say, you know what? It's yours. I want all of you. I want to be the best representation that I can be of you. I give you the reins, Jesus. And we just thank you that your beauty just shows up in that place of simple surrender. It's so hard until we realize it's easy. And we just we choose you today. We choose you to make it easy. Give us your eyes to see, Father. And we just ask your Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts and give us give us new eyes to see the way you see. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.